Thank you for considering DevExpress VCL controls for your software development needs. In this demo, I'll show you how easy it is to use the VCL Express Wizard control to create a simple quiz application. A quiz is a set of multiple choice questions shown one at a time. Users can pick an answer from a given number of options and correct any of their answers prior to the final submission. The VCL Express Wizard control is a perfect fit for the task. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is create a wizard application using a corresponding IDE template shipped with the Express Wizard. To do that, I'll select File, New, Other, go to Delphi Projects, select the DevExpress VCL Wizard application, and hit OK. This creates an application project and a form with the Express Wizard control on it. The Express Wizard Control allows you to design wizards that conform to either the Wizard 97 or Arrow Wizard standard. Let's use the Arrow Wizard. To do that, I'll select the Wizard Control and switch it to this standard via the View Style property. The form created by the template is in fact a wizard form, a TDX Wizard Control Form object, which implements Arrow standard compliant form sizing and positioning on screen, as well as proper form painting for Arrow glass theme effects. Now I'm going to enable the native painting style to ensure that the look and feel of the page content is consistent with the Arrow wizard style. I'll add the skin controller component from the tool palette to the form and make sure that the skin controller native style option is enabled. As you can see, it's already enabled as I made this option setting a default setting during the DevExpress VCL products installation. You can always switch the default setting using the VCL product setup. Let's proceed to providing the wizard content. Our simple quiz will consist of three questions, each with four possible answers. I'll add one wizard page per question and two service pages, the welcome page and the final page with the answers. Currently, the wizard control already contains a page. Let's make it the welcome page. I'll select a page by clicking the design selector a rectangle with green diagonal stripes located in the page's bottom right corner. Selecting a page colors the design selector in red and displays page settings within the object inspector. I'll go to the object inspector and name the page accordingly. Then I'll expand the header property and specify the page title and description. Note that the page description is currently not shown. According to the Arrow Wizard standard, page descriptions are hidden by default. Let's tweak the default settings and enable page descriptions in the wizard control. To do that, I'll go back to the wizard control settings and select the appropriate description visibility option. Since our quiz application will provide only straightforward page navigation, I'll hide the cancel and help buttons that the wizard control initially has via the corresponding wizard control options. And I'm done with this page. Now let's add the first question page. I'll invoke the wizard control context menu, click new page and name the page using the object inspector. The page title and description will contain the question number and the question wording. I'll go to the page header property and set the corresponding sub properties. Now I'm going to add a TCX radio group control, which will display four possible answers. I'll go to the tool palette and drop TCX radio group while the wizard page is selected. This makes the page host the radio group control. Let's make the radio group occupy the entire page client area. Specify the radio group caption and populate this group with four items using the items collection editor. I'll add each radio group item, specify its caption and use this caption as the edit value. This will automatically set the edit value type to string. and I'm done with the first question page. At this point, I'll switch to form settings to limit the form size based on the question page size. Perfect. Now let's take a look at the wizard. It includes two pages and navigation buttons, which I can click right on the form to navigate between the pages. Note how the button caption and state automatically change in the process. As you can see, the wizard provides all the required navigation functionality out of the box. 
Let's focus on the content and proceed to adding more pages. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to do this quickly as I'll take similar steps as before. Now that I've finished with content pages, let's run the application to see the wizard in action. It has all the pages and provides straightforward page navigation in the order I created them, with a fade transition effect. Let's provide a means to store and show quiz answers. I'm going to use a string list for this. I'll add a string list as a variable. And introduce list maintenance code to the form on create and on destroy event handlers. Selecting an answer, a radio group item, fires the radio group properties.onEditValueChangedEvent. event. I'll handle this event in all radio groups in order to update string list contents with the selected answer. To do that, I'll select the first radio group, handle its properties.onEditValueChangedEvent, event, and update the string list as follows. And I'll share the event handler between all radio groups. For the purposes of this video, I won't be implementing any answer validation logic, but will simply make the wizard show selected quiz answers on the finish button click. To do that, I'll select the wizard control and handle its on button click event to show quiz answers in a message box if the finish button is clicked and then close the application. I'll run the application again to see the wizard in action. I can navigate pages back and forth, select the answers and see my selection on the final page. So, looking pretty good. Now I'm going to slightly adjust page navigation logic to improve the user experience. To accomplish this, I'll handle the wizard control on page changing event, which fires when a wizard page is about to be displayed in the control. With this event, we can switch button states, initialize the page, and even change page flow. First, let's make the wizard control show the welcome page only once. To do that, I'll disable navigation from the first question page to this page using the back button. So I'll select the wizard control and handle its on page changing event accordingly. Next, let's allow our user to proceed to the next page only after an answer has been selected. For a quick check, I'll use the currently active page index and the number of answers stored in the list of selected quiz answers. So I'll add the following code for the next button to the on page changing event handler. Selecting an answer should enable the next button, allowing a user to proceed to the next wizard page. Then I'll need to add the following code to the radio group properties.onEditValueChangedEvent event handler. And I'm done. Let's run the application to see the final result. Now if I want to switch the wizard control to the classic wizard 97 style and apply a skin, it's a piece of cake. I'll do this using the wizard control view style property and the skin controller skin name property. The wizard is instantly updated to reflect the changes. Thanks for watching. Let's see what develops.